parameters document under priest workload enumerates a few tasks that pastors are required to do. The first of which is leadership for evangelization. So what does this mean? Leadership for evangelization. Well, let's think about leadership first. And uh, I want to go to a definition that uh, I received from the Good Leaders, Good Shepherds program that I took several years ago. They defined leadership as the act or process of arousing, engaging, and satisfying the needs and motives of followers in an environment of conflict, competition, or achievement, which results in followers taking action toward a mutually shared vision. So, I know, that's a lot of words there. What does it all mean? Well, if you kind of break it down, uh, I see it as being within the messiness of human life. A leader is someone who leads other people to act based upon a shared vision. To be a leader is to unite someone to a vision. And for us in particular, to unite everyone to the vision of Christ. And that's why in the first videos in this series was all about the vision of Jesus um, especially as it's expressed through the Archdiocese of Omaha, one church encountering Jesus, equipping disciples, living mercy. So my role as a leader is to unite everyone to this vision. And part of the, this vision, also expressed by the Archbishop, is that our parishes become missional, that we're outward looking, uh, that we seek to evangelize those in our communities. So evangelization, everything that we do to share Jesus with others. Pope Paul VI said evangelizing is, in fact, the grace and vocation proper to the church, her deepest identity. She exists in order to evangelize. So, as I said before, this means that parishes exist not just for her own, their own members, but for their non-members, those other people in our community, that we are to go and share our Lord with them. To be missional means to go out and make disciples, like we say at the end of Mass, go forth, the Mass is ended. Go forth, you're sent to bring Jesus to others and to bring others to him. But the question is, is that when you hear this term evangelize, do you feel like you know what you're supposed to go and do? I would say that most Catholics, even the most committed of Catholics, don't always realize what it means to evangelize. All right, what about for yourself? Do you feel comfortable evangelizing? Do you feel like you're being taught how to do it? And so that's what we need to do as priests, to lead and teach you how to evangelize. Because based upon research from the Dynamic Catholic Institute in 2013, they found that about 7% of Catholics live as intentional disciples, while only 0.6% felt as though that they knew how to evangelize. So if we apply those percentages to our eight parishes, 7% uh, of intentional disciples would be about 182 people within our parishes. Whereas those that feel like they know how to evangelize, the 0.6% would only amount to 16 people. Do you feel as though yourself, that you are part of that group? That you feel like, yes, I know how to evangelize. And I have a desire and a willingness to do that. If not, we need to grow in being able to do that. We need to change the culture of our parishes into ones that are missional. So that's also part of the question is how many people does it take to change a culture? Well, there's various percentages. Some say 20, some say 25%. If you change that percentage of a group, then you can change the culture within it. So once again, within our eight parishes, 25% of mass attendees would be 255 people. So if we could form 255 people out of all the people in our parishes to know how to evangelize and to be motivated and feel like they know how to do it, then we can begin to transform the entire culture of our parish and the potential of, of growth to occur. So we can see that the pastor needs to be the leader in this area of evangelization in order to help teach and support individual staff and volunteers, the people within our parish to learn how to evangelize. And so this is a very important that it, it can't just simply be an afterthought for the leadership of the priest, but really needs to be incorporated into what a priest is actively doing 
each day.